In order to calculate this limit, we are going to need to multiply it out because just plugging in h equals 0 gives us an indeterminate form. So we have the limit as h goes to 0. First thing we're going to expand out is 2 plus h to the quantity cubed, which is not 2 cubed plus h cubed. Multiplied out, we would get 8 plus 12 h plus 6 h squared plus h cubed. So all of that is that first term. Next term is just some distribution. So minus 4 minus 2h and then we have the minus 4 at the end. And this whole thing is all still over h. So we want to simplify as much as possible. Well I have a positive 8 a negative 4 and a negative 4. So those terms are all going to cancel. And let's see what we have as we combine our like terms. I have a 12h here and a minus 2h. So that's going to be 10h plus 6h squared plus h cubed all over h. Now at this point, if I were to try and plug in eight, 0 for h, I would still get 0 over 0 or an indeterminate form. So I have to do a little bit more work. As we saw in some of those videos, sometimes factoring can help us here. So we have limit as h approaches 0. I can factor an h out of the numerator and I get 10 plus 6h plus h squared which allows me to cancel out the h in the denominator. So now, via direct substitution, I will no longer get a 0 in the denominator, and I can plug in my h equals 0. So I get 10 plus 6 times 0 plus 0 squared, which gives us a limit value of 10.